Hey everyone, welcome back to my studio. My name is Allison from the Creative Web. So today we are doing a fluid art acrylic um, picture frame. So it is a wood frame. The colors that we're using today are Artist Loft Metallic Orange, Artist Loft Emerald Green, Artist Loft Metallic White, Artist Loft Violet, Artist Loft Silver, Artist Loft Metallic Black. So this is a wooden frame. It is um, primed white and uh, sanded uh, slightly. I removed the glass from it already and um, the picture frame backing and I have it setting on a canvas that I've just used as a drop cloth. So I did another um, pour over top of it and so you can see kind of the remnants from that. So what I'm going to do is put all of my colors out straight from the bottle in a line and these colors have been mixed. The paint has been mixed with Floetrol and just water and that's it. So we're going to line up all these colors kind of in um, you know a linear pattern just kind of in whatever order that you want so I did you know worked one color at a time and try to decide what I wanted to be you know my predominant colors I really like the purple so I wanted to do a little bit more of that than the other colors and when I picked these colors I chose secondary colors, so purple, orange, and green. And it was about at this time, at this point in my painting process, that I looked at these colors and realized that they are Halloween colors, or what I consider to be Halloween colors. So orange, black, purple, green. So this became a Halloween themed frame. <laughs> I suppose people could look at it and not see Halloween, but I um, could not. That is what I saw from this point out. So, but that's okay. I, um, <laughs> I like the color combination, but I had chosen it because I was using secondary colors off the color wheel. Okay, so I go over it with a torch, I have everything covered. And then here I am, we're going to take this, um, my heating gun. Now this isn't, some people blow out their paint with like a blow dryer. This is not a blow dryer. This is just a heat gun. So it doesn't have as much, um, power, but it does get hot. So once the paint warms up a little bit, then it will, it will move a little bit better once the paint is heated up. And then I go in with my straw and blow it out. Today, I am recording this a little bit later in the evening, and you can hear the crickets. Typically, we have birds in the background, and this evening, we have sounds of a summer evening. So, crickets, a few birds here and there, but that is the sound that you're hearing. you can see I'm just uh, any runoff I'm running my um, spatula my palette knife underneath of it I'm um, pulling some paint from the top because there's plenty of paint on it and covering the edges this is a frame so um, you know it's people are going to be able to see the edges so you want those to be finished really nicely And we're not going to use any, you know, silicone in this. This is just paint, water, and Floetrol. Getting the inside, making sure that there's no drips. And then when this is done and dry, I'll um, paint the back black 
it is already black, but I will um, do a nice fresh coat to cover up any drips that might get on the back. I'm really terrible at masking <laughs> the parts that I don't want to get paint on. So oftentimes I'll just um, coat them again with another, with some more paint. Okay. So this is looking pretty good. Blowing out a few extra spots. I love some of this color combination. I love the orange lines through it. I think it really breaks up some of the other colors. And here we have it. So let's go in and take a closer look. As you can see, it's still on this extra canvas that I put for the backdrop um, to catch any paint. Let's go in. So we're going up the right hand side. Some nice little cells just from the heat and the flow trawl. I love that area with the black and the orange mixing there. Little wispies of orange. And that is, that area is cool with the white coming through the bottom, green and the orange, and then the purple and white looks really good. And the silver, when it's wet, it's hard to see what it actually looks like, but when it's dry, that Artist Loft Silver is really pretty. Very metallic, lots of shine, lots of shimmer. Okay, we're going back around, we're at the top left hand side. Going down the left hand side, bottom left hand side of the frame. Here we are, it's dry now. So we'll take another look at it. It has not changed very much since it was wet. The paint I was using was quite thick, so it stayed where it was. Let's take a look at the sheen. It's a nice satiny finish. Looks beautiful and you could leave it just like this if you wanted to. I love this purple side, predominantly purple with the white there. Doesn't it look like Halloween to you? Can't you see little ghosts in it? <laughs> Maybe little pumpkin shapes, little wispies. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so there it is, completely dry. Now let's see it when it's all finished. And here we go. I decided to coat it with resin to finish it off. And it added a beautiful sheen to it. The colors really pop. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you guys. I am happy to be able to show you kind of some of my process of creating. If you like it and you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm.